Hi, Scrap Challenge here. I'm on my creative plot on the Hat Ventures Hat Film server again. Now, this is a separate plot to where I did the big medieval castle and town. And um, this one, the other plots where I've been working on some modernist buildings, which is something else I really enjoy. Now, I've already done a video on one of my um, smaller modernist houses, which you'll be able to see aside from the glitch way over there, just out of render distance. Let's just have a quick look over there. I've done a video of this uh, concrete one as well, the stone representing concrete, and I've done a video on that one, so check uh, my channel to have a look at the others. I'll be doing that one next, but right now we're going to be doing this one, so I'm going to have a fly around the outside first. Now again I've gone for the disconnected boxes feel that we've got sort of white boxes floating on top of others. And again, I've used this sort of rainbow window pattern just here and there for accent. It's definitely one of the tallest ones I've made so far in this style. We've got a lovely outdoor swimming pool there and a patio for dining. Okay, so let's go in. So this is the front door. Now, this hallway leads straight through also to an enclosed garden with a little pool here and some flowers. So where to go first? I think we should go through here first. This is the sitting room. Now let's go back through here to the dining room. The huge dining table. Now. There's a short passage here, letting some light in. You can see into the garden there. And we have the kitchen, a little breakfast table, and a little slice of uh, view into that little pond there. There's the door into that interior garden. There's also the back door there, which goes out to the back driveway. A little piece of lawn there. So I go back through here. This is the study. And here we've got a bathroom. And we have this lovely little light tunnel here, again looking into that central garden. And that's the uh, sitting room we were just in there. And I've just realised I messed up with one of these pictures. That picture really shouldn't be there, it spoils it. So there's that bathroom, there's that study. And if we go back through here, again I wanted slices of light all the way through this building. We have a bedroom suite, which looks out onto that lovely pool. And this has an ensuite bathroom. we go next. If we go back to the sitting room and go up these stairs, again we've got this slice of light in the stairwell so you can see all the way around. So here we have steps out onto a little balcony area. We have a bathroom another bedroom, another balcony area here to actually connect to some other balcony areas. And there's that central garden down there. We have a walkway here. We have another little uh, patio area here. I thought we've got flat roofs, I might as well use them. We have a bathroom. And here we have another bedroom and another bedroom again with these uh, multicoloured stained glass accent windows and 
here we have another of these of these all patio areas. Rooftop balcony. It looks a bit complicated, but you would get used to this. Now you can see why these are very brightly lit, because again, I've hidden um, some lighting under the floor. You could use glowstone, but I have gone with... Um, oh, I'm losing words today. Um, what do you call them? Beacons, that's the ones. <laughs> Sorry about that. So there we go. You can see it all in the dark. Now I can't change day to night here because it's not my server. So we just get what we're given. So this is the back driveway and the swimming pool. Uh, without the shaders on this actually look quite brightly lit from inside because I've got beacons underneath. Nice little bits of garden here. And there we go. So I hope you've enjoyed this and next I'm going to be doing that building behind me there.